We know you have lots of choices. Thank you for picking Family Life Mornings. Can waffles get any more fun than they are right now? <laughs> Little syrup holding squares? I don't think so. I know. Oh, you do that too. I mean, right? Well, that's what they're for, right? Well, exactly. You take the syrup and you go yes. to the little squares, fill them up. Yes. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, Waffle Wow <laughs> is trying to get even better. They've now created a little mini shaped. You can make little mini shaped like dinosaurs, mini cars, mini trucks, and you can do all that kind of stuff. But you know, if you're like Steve, Therese, and Randy. We don't need things like that. We just have our little we, syrup compartments, and we just look. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, guys, I think we need to grow up a little bit. <laughs> Why? Thanks for tuning in to Family Life Mornings. We're giving away free smiles, and we've got one that's just your size. Well, China is set to send aid to Pakistan to help their neighbor fight the locust invasion that is really threatening to devour their crops. The biological weapons that China is sending, not pesticides. No, they're sending something more powerful and more effective. Ooh. It's an army Ooh. of 100,000 ducks. What? <laughs> Evidently, yeah. one duck is able to eat more than 200 locusts a day. Wow. But there's still no word on whether or not uh, Donald and Daffy are going to be part of the army. Well, you know, it's got to be expensive, though, right? Yeah, because yeah. it's got to be expensive. Look at all the bills they're leaving. I mean, oh, oh, man. <laughs> the morning time. It's God's time. Thanks for waking up with Family Life Mornings. People are talking about colds and flus and coronavirus. Did you know that you can choose to cut your chance of catching any of those things? Choose. Hmm. C-H-E-W-S. Oh, that kind of choose. Choose. They say that if you eat food that requires a lot of chewing, okay. it can improve your immune system. And this is the reason why, which I kind of think is gross, but it sort of makes sense. When you chew, there are these tiny abrasions that you get in your mouth from like the food and the okay. friction and all that. And white blood cells will be sent to your mouth to repair those teeny tiny abrasions and in the process it'll kill the bacteria that might enter your mouth so if you're thinking about abrasions in your mouth though i think there's one food that rises above all the others go ahead it's captain crunch cereal remember when you were oh oh, yeah oh i hate that while you're packing your lunch they're packing your mornings with a whole lot of fun it's Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life. A friend you can turn to. Well, if you've been to our Family Life Mornings Facebook page this morning, you've already gotten some pint size encouragement. I'm smiling because, <laughs> well, you just have to smile when you hear her. Hi, everyone. I'm glad we're back today. I want to tell you about God. God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. And Jesus came to earth to die for our sins and he raised from the grave so that we can can be can have eternal life and live with him forever in heaven it's a great thing to talk about because god is the one who will set you free from sin and sin is the bad stuff we do and the bad stuff we think and the bad stuff we say and the bad stuff we do and the bad stuff we say like lying and not being truthful. Sin is just on our hearts. But God takes it and puts it on his own son while he's dying on the cross. He took our sin so that we can live with him forever. And that's amazing. It's amazing that God takes our sin and gives it to and gives it to Jesus and Jesus dies on the cross and grazes from the grave and he and we can have eternal life with him. That's crazy. But the, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because I know I love Jesus. I just love you and I want to say goodbye. Goodbye everyone. Starting your day with a smile and a dose of encouragement too. Family Life Mornings. You know, sometimes when the weather starts to get a little warm, you know, you hear the snow melting and you start to feel good. And then other days when it's like cloudy and rainy, you start to feel down. Maybe you have a little anxiety this time of year. Have you thought that maybe something you eat 
could help. I thought this is really fascinating. Uh, if you're feeling some sort of mood, you might need some yogurt or maybe some kombucha. I think that's how you say it, that probiotic drink. What's it Kombu- called again? Com- is it kombucha? I don't Kom- know. Kombucha. It's, I don't know. It's like it a fermented like... drink. Oh. And a lot of people say it tastes like rotten feet, but it's really good for you. <laughs> okay? Um, but gut health. You might have heard this phrase, gut health, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, it's just kind of about all the bacteria and the little itty-bitty things you can't see inside your body that not only help you digest food and be healthy, but can also affect Our feelings. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, extreme disorders where you might be seeing a mental health professional. I'm talking about if you've just been kind of feeling a little out of sorts, it might be your gut health. The key might be probiotics. And I just think it's kind of neat, you know, how God made our bodies and how he made those itty bitty teeny tiny things and how he made Steve's brain hear how it's going to make fun of how I say kombucha well, or kombucha. I, or I'm, kombucha. I'm very probiotics. I used to be antibiotics, but now I'm <laughs> probiotics. <laughs> I'm, I'm all for them. Okay. Steve, Therese, and Randy, friends you can turn to on Family Life Mornings. Well, she's over 100 years old and uh, she's never had a meaningful relationship. Uh, Well, she's over 100 years old. She'd never even met a male. Never even met a male. Is it the Statue of Liberty? (laughs) No, No, it's a 100-plus-year-old bachelorette tortoise who was found in the Galapagos Islands, and they thought that was uh, animal was extinct, but they found this lone wow. female tortoise who has wow. never been around a male. Now they have taken her now to go to a, a zoo, an area where there's some males, and they're wondering if they'll they'll get together. But I think for a couple of reasons, she, you know, one, I mean, she's set in her ways. I would think after a <laughs> uh, hundred year old plus plus. Can you imagine? Just imagine this. Just imagine. Can you imagine the walk down the aisle? <laughs> It'd be 101 before you get It takes forever. <laughs> Although at the reception, it's like, hey, you want to slow dance? <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. It's the only dance I know. <laughs> you know we're friends because we're already on a first-name basis. It's Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy from Family Life, a friend you can turn to. Have you ever been really good at something, or maybe you know somebody who's really good at something, but through some kind of circumstance, injury, or some other kind of thing that all of a sudden they can't do what they did anymore? And that's the story of Molly Seidel. But aren't you glad it's not the end of Molly's story or your story if you're going through that? Molly uh, was a uh, decorated Notre Dame track and cross-country star. She was very good, one of the best in the world, actually. But then she had an injury, and then that caused depression. And then she had an eating disorder. So oh, wow. she stopped running. Uh, that's hmm. what she did. That's what. Uh, but she was encouraged by others. And now... A couple of years later, and just recently, Molly ran a marathon. She had never run a marathon before. She had done other distance races, but never that 26-mile course. So she did it in a race, and guess where she's headed now? She finished up second in the race, which qualified her for the Olympic Games. She's now (laughs) going to be in the Olympics. So I think that's why today's verse of the day, Hebrews 3.13, about encouraging someone, encouraging Mm -hmm. one another today and every day. Now, you may not run in the Olympics, but you can at least get back in the race because God's already won the victory for you anyway. Mm -hmm. So be encouraged by Molly's story. Get back in the race and maybe encourage one another. They're morning people because they love mornings and people. It's Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life Mornings. Tomorrow is not promised as we uh, got Mm. that reminder the other day in the news from Nashville, Tennessee. Huh? Yeah. yeah, and Steve Tabor is the founder of Eight Days of Hope. This is an organization that has headquarters in Tupelo, Mississippi, but they also have a headquarter in Buffalo, New York. Mm-hmm. And so you might be like, wait, I've heard of Eight Days of Hope. And there's already volunteers and equipment from Western New York that are on their way to Tennessee. So like your friends and neighbors could be a part of this relief. Yes, yeah, so Eight Days of Hope has leaders and equipment in Nashville as we speak. We're in Mount Juliet. Uh, We'll be uh, hosting volunteers over the next two and a half weeks to uh, love and serve some of these families who are brokenhearted. Uh, We'll be doing everything from cleanup, chainsaw work, tarping roofs, 
helping families sort through the remainings of what they can salvage. And it's a great time for the church to be the church, just to be on the front lines to bring hope to those who are feeling hopeless. You know, a community like Nashville is notoriously churchy, but they need help from the outside. We, we do a lot of work in the, quote, Bible Belt. I mean, today we're in Jackson, Mississippi. We've been there for two weeks for the recent flooding. Just a couple of weeks ago, we were in Texas and Memphis, Tennessee. Um, you know, I lived in the South for 20 years, born and raised in Western New York, but lived 20 years in Tupelo, Mississippi. There are some dangers to those that belong to a church. It is amazing to me how many people come on a missions trip with eight days of hope and then realize that they, the volunteer, don't have a relationship with Jesus. And so, you know, when you see Jesus in action, when God starts opening up doors, you're ministering to people and you realize that you don't know him. Uh, we've had some amazing stories over the last 14 years. So what can you do? Well, if you can get to Nashville, you can connect with Eight Days of Hope and they'll sure. take care of everything else. Basically, they say, bring your work clothes and bring your Bible and then they'll take care of your you know, housing and your food and everything else that you need. So if you can go like now, well, you could do that. If not, you can pray, number one. Number two, you can help support organizations like this so that they can afford all the equipment that's already in Tennessee. Or you can sign up on their website, and when there's another trip, maybe that one will work with your schedule. So we've got one place where you can get to everything you need to know to help in Tennessee. Yeah, just go to our website, fln.org, and you'll see Pray for Nashville, and you see all how you can help out. A little serious, a little silly, a perfect balance. Balance to start your day. Family Life Mornings. The new James Bond movie was set to be released here in a couple of weeks, I think. But but uh, that's that's Mission Impossible. Close enough. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. There's hey, different spies. Never, There's never, more than one spy. We never let accuracy get in the way of our sounds. At any rate, they have pushed it back because of the coronavirus. Right. But uh, no surprise here. There is a car chase scene in the movie, so I've been told. Okay. But they're doing this filming in Italy, okay. and evidently when it rains in Italy, the roads get very, very slick, almost like ice. And they were trying to figure out, okay, how can we make the car chase scene so exciting and really work? And they came up with... This, their secret weapon, mm -hmm. cola. Cola. They spray cola on the roads. It improves the stickiness and the grip of the tires. In fact, a stunt car driver in the movie said it was so effective. Uh huh. He's going to use it in every movie from now on. Oh. Spraying cola oh. on the road. Wow. You like lemon with that? <laughs> My name is Cola. Sticky Cola. Sticky Cola. <laughs> Facing a brand new day is a whole lot easier when you remember that God is in charge. This is Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy.